right, I stopped by my uh, local Walmart here and uh, just picking up some Redbox movies and I found something I'm looking for. And they also have these two. All right, so uh, all done at Walmart. I was not actually gonna film anything in there. Just had to pick up some Redbox movies. I seem to find stuff every time I go there to pick up a freaking Redbox movie. So maybe I'll uh, go there more often and rent more uh, Redbox movies. I picked up um, two movies, Hacksaw Ridge, which came out today. And um, it stars uh, Peter Parker as a dude that doesn't like to use guns when he's in war. Which is kind of a dumbass thing to do, but I'll watch his movie anyway. Because if people are trying to kill me, I'm going to want to try and kill them back, you know? And then I also got Manchester by the Sea, which um, little Affleck got a uh, nomination for Best Actor. And uh, I heard it's boring as sin. I heard it's extremely boring and slow, but I got it anyway, because... I'll be the judge of that. I'm still getting over my cold, if you couldn't tell by my voice. But uh, I had to go out and um, go to the post office since they were closed yesterday. It's Tuesday, by the way. Um, I picked up a couple uh, packages. I got a couple P.O. Box pickups, so I'll share those. I'm not sure what's in them. A couple people reached out and said that they're gonna be sending me some stuff, but uh, I got one here from uh, Will Kiern, and I got one from um, Anthony DeSegna. I apologize if I mispronounce anyone's name, by the way. But I will be uh, opening these once I get back to the Nerd Bar. Looking forward to uh, seeing what's in them. I appreciate everything you guys send me. I am still blown away by the fact that people send me stuff. It's so freaking nice and generous, and I really, really appreciate it. And then I picked up uh, that Shocker. I was really, really excited to find that Shocker. Um, again, I wasn't even going to go back in the fig aisle. I just had to uh, pick up those movies, and I was going to go back home because... This is since he made ham for dinner, and I'm gonna go ham on some ham when I get back home. So um, I wasn't gonna check the figs, and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna skip them, and they're gonna have something I'm looking for. I'm looking for the um, Star Wars Rebels exclusive pops, the uh, Walmart exclusives, and I'm looking for the three packs, obviously, which are freaking impossible to find. Uh, and then I was also looking, obviously, for X-Men Legends Wave, and then uh, that one figure from the uh, Sandman Wave, which I still needed, the Shocker. Which, uh, two in the pink, one in the stink. I got it wrong the first time I made that joke. Uh, and again, I'm sorry for making that joke again. But uh, I got the shocker. Very, very happy about that. I thought long and hard, that's what she said, about getting that Megatron. It looks good for a Voyager, for a Hasbro uh, figure. It's no masterpiece quality. But it looks cool. I didn't know it was a triple changer. Changes from like a tank to a jet to Megatron. Uh, it looks really cool in robot form. I would probably never ever transform it if I got that figure. I would just leave it in robot form and uh, be done with it. <clears throat> but uh, I did not get it. They had two there. They had a new Optimus as well. I'm going to hold out on those. It was $24.86 I think for that one. But I'm going to hold out. I really want that six shot. If I see that six shot, I'm probably going to pick that one up. The leader class six shot. But um, that's all I got. Just got the shocker. I'll show you that one up close to the nerd bar. I'll unbox these. And uh, I will see you guys in a bit. What's up, everyone? It is Thursday, February 23rd. I'm in Columbus today. It's a lunchtime hunt. I've got two stops, at least two stops, for my lunchtime hunt today. I'm going to uh, Toys R Us and Target. I'm gonna see if they got any of the new Marvel Legends, uh, Guardians Wave or X-Men Wave. Really hoping to find some of those X-Men Wave uh, figures today. The ones I really want from that wave, obviously, are Cyclops, Colossus, and Old Man Logan, which I think are the three that everyone wants the most. But, um, I'm not opposed to picking up some of the other figures in that wave as well. The Shatterstar looks really cool. Um, who's the other one? Sunfire looks pretty good too. But uh, I'm just hoping to find any figures from that wave. So headed to Toys R Us first, then going to Target. But uh, that's the plan. Still looking for a Yondu and a Nova from the Guardians wave. But uh, that is that. 
I'm not sure what I'm gonna do after uh, I get off of work today. I was thinking about maybe going to see a movie. <coughs> I'm still sick, obviously. Still got a cough, still congested. Still feel like ass! But uh, I was thinking about going to the movies tonight. Uh, if I don't do that, I might go to the mall and uh, hit up Hot Topic and FYE just to see what they got. Uh, but that's the plan for today. Going to Toys R Us right now. Uh, gonna check out the Pops. Maybe try and score a uh, Punisher Chase. I think that's the number one pop I'm looking for right now is the Punisher Chase and the Demogorgon Chase. But um, that is the plan. And I will see you guys there. Right, I am uh, all done at Toys R Us. Uh, I did not buy anything there. Uh, I was very tempted to buy that Samus from uh, World of Nintendo, but I know that they make another version that has like metallic paint, and I kind of like that one more. So I'm gonna hold out for that one. What else did they have there? Six John Wick pops. So I just missed out on a chase apparently. They didn't have any uh, X Men Legends or Guardians Legends. They only had a couple figures from the Sandman wave. So. Um, and I have both of those and I finished my Sandman so I don't need those anymore. Uh, they had the um, Toys R Us exclusive Pop Ryu doing the Hadouken, which looked really, really cool, but I didn't pick it up. Um, I'm gonna hold out. It looks cool though, I think I might pick that one up. Didn't uh, really feel the need to buy anything there. So I'm going to Target right now, I'm gonna see what they got. I'm hoping they have some good legends there. Uh, but we'll see you there. all done at Target. Uh, didn't pick anything up there. Kind of a big stinker of a hunt so far. They didn't really have anything though. They didn't have any of the new Marvel Legends. Um, no new pops really. Kind of uh, dry. So that's it for right now. I'm gonna, uh, I'm freaking starving. I'm gonna get some uh, Raisin Canes. That sounds damn good to me right now. Some chicken fingers, freaking coleslaw, some french fries. Oh, that sounds good to me right now. So I'm going to get some lunch and then uh, I will uh, see you guys probably after work. If I don't go to the movies, I'll do a hunt tonight. If I do go to the movies, I will see you guys tomorrow for my lunchtime hunt since I'm here uh, overnight. But uh, that's it for right now. Sorry, I'm not finding anything. I'm showing you guys a lot of nothingness in these stores. I'm gonna go ahead and order my food and I will see you guys later. Adios. What's going on everyone? It is a uh, post-work hunt off of work. I'm at a uh, second target right now. I checked the uh, DPCI code for the Guardians of the Galaxy wave 
and it says that they have some here on hand at this target. So we will see how accurate BrickSeek is. It says they have eight on hand. I am hoping they have them, uh, really hoping to get Yondu, Nova, and maybe Darkhawk. Uh, I think those are the ones that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and see what they got and I will be right back. Alright, uh, all done at Target, I did not buy anything, and uh, that was weird. So uh, they re-released the original Guardians of the Galaxy Marvel Legends Wave, and they're calling it Platinum Edition, and they marked it up. So it's 24 bucks a figure, and they there's no difference between that and the original release. Um, I didn't notice any difference. If you uh, bought those Platinum Edition figures, and you've noticed any difference between that and the original release, let me know. But it looks like they just freaking re-released a wave. But yeah, that's all they had. They did not have any of the new Guardians. They just had the old ones uh, and they were $24 each. So if you are looking for that wave, they're available again. It's called Platinum Edition. I'm headed to Walmart right now. I'm gonna see if they have anything. And then if uh, they don't have anything, I'm probably just gonna grab some dinner and then head back to the hotel and resume the hunt tomorrow. But so far, nothing, no purchases uh, today, but um, cross my fingers, hopefully they got something at this Walmart. This Walmart usually doesn't have anything, so I am really being optimistic here, but we'll see what they got and I'll um, see you inside. So um, done with swimming lessons, and uh, we decided to go to Walmart to get some food. And I decided to check the toy aisle, and I just found these guys. Bathtub. Put poop in the bathtub. Why would you want to put poop in the bathtub? It's a weird reaction. Bigger poop. Never met a kid that like poops so much. <laughs> anyway, they also have this here. All right, we are at Target now, killing some time before I have to drop Tay Tay off at a birthday party. No new legends, but look at this. Can you get what? And I think I'm gonna get this one, maybe this one, and maybe this one because they're only $6.49 right now. All right, so uh, I'm all done at Target. Uh, I just dropped Tay Tay off at her birthday party. We actually uh, had two birthday parties today, one for Tay Tay and one for P-Dog. My kids are officially more popular than I was when I was a kid, because uh, I didn't go to nearly as many birthday parties as they've been invited to. I picked up a few things at that Target. Obviously, I was looking for the new X-Men Legends. They didn't have them. Looking for Guardians Legends, they didn't have them. But I did find some new stuff, which I didn't even know some of these were even being made. But I got this, the Invincible Iron Man, which looks badass. This is the current Iron Man armor that he has. Um, it looks awesome. I, I can't, you can't really see the paint job from, uh, from the package, but it kind of has like, it's hard to explain, kind of like a pearlescent finish over paint, if that makes any sense. It's kind of like glossy, but it's freaking awesome looking is what it is. Maybe I'll take this out of the pack and show you guys from the nerd bar what it looks like, but it looks really, really cool. It's like a different kind of paint job that I've seen before on a, on a figure. Um, I got 
X23, the new Wolverine. I like how it just says Wolverine there. That's badass. But um, I did not eat. This is one of the ones that I didn't even know they were making it. So very, very happy to see this one. They had the whole wave there. I picked up three of the figures. So I got the Iron Man, the X23, and this is the one that I was actually most happy to see because he looks freaking sweet. Maestro. Got the Maestro there. And uh, my Target, I'm not sure if yours has them on sale as well, but most Targets are usually the same when it comes to sales. These were $6.49 for brand new three and three quarter inch Marvel Legends figures or Marvel Universe figures as they used to be called, but could not pass that up. Six bucks for these three. Um, I thought about getting the Lady Deadpool, but I don't really know that much about her character and I don't really read uh, her in the comic books much. The Moon Knight didn't really impress me and the Spider-Man UK is the Spider-Man UK, so I didn't buy that one. But I did buy one other thing while I was at Target. They had this entire wave and I got trigger happy. I think he looks badass. So I got that trigger happy. Uh, they had Hot Rod. And then, um, I can't remember the other guy's name. But they had that wave there and I got trigger happy. So very, very happy to pick that one up. Because that one was actually in the cartoon. Trigger happy was in the cartoon. He was a um, Decepticon. And he was, um, he fought alongside like Scourge and Cyclonus, I think. So that's the whole, um, got those. I got the Alpha 5. I almost got the Blanca too. I actually had the Blanca up at the register, but uh, I noticed that uh, whoever opened the damn box sliced the top of it with a razor. So I didn't get the Blanca. I might pick it up at a later time, but the Alpha 5 was the one that I actually um, wanted the most. That's it for right now. I think I'm actually gonna go to uh, Comics to Games right now. They have a uh, Falcon hot toy figure from Civil War on hold for me. And uh, I gotta pick up some comics down there too. So I got some time to kill. The girls are uh, at their birthday parties. Mrs. Cincy's shopping. Uh, it's 1 p.m. in the afternoon on a Saturday. Uh, so I'm gonna go to freaking comics to games. I'm gonna get a freaking hot toy figure. And I'm gonna get some freaking pizza for freaking dinner tonight. And then we're gonna have a freaking nice Saturday night. You freaking fricks. And I'll see you guys later. Hey, what's up? So I'm all done at uh, comics to games. Uh, that was a quick trip. I was in and out in like, I don't know, 10 minutes. I knew exactly what I was looking for. Uh, I went there for this guy. The frick was that? I went there for this guy, Civil War, Hot Toys, Falcon. So I got him. All I need now is Hawkeye to complete Team Cap. These, I did not know they had until I walked in there. And, uh, yeah, let me show what I just got. So first things first, I did get a couple comics. I got um, Invincible, uh, freaking glare. Infamous Iron Man, I'm sorry. Doctor Doom is Iron Man, such a freaking awesome concept. I hope they make a Marvel Legends figure for him because it's freaking sweet. And then I got uh, Amazing Spider-Man. <clears throat> Always gonna get Spider-Man. Been collecting Spider-Man for a long, long time, so I'll, I will always buy that comic book. I'm just glad that it's uh, so well written right now. Awesome art. It's freaking beautiful. So I got those two comics, but I also got Yondu. Bam. Got Yondu. Very happy to finally find him. Drax. Nova. Sam Alexander. Kid Nova. And uh, last one, Darkhawk. I was actually not gonna pick up the Dark Hawk. I was actually just gonna get these three, but I figured, you know what? It seems like Dark Hawk is kind of hard to find, so why torture myself, not pick him up, and then he's freaking scarce, and then I can't find him. So I think I have a Star-Lord and an Angela in the mail to me, so all I need is Vance Astro, which is the one that I actually wanted the least. Uh, he's okay, I guess. Um, he's just like not a character that I'm really, really eager to get. Uh, might as well go ahead and finish uh, what's his ass, Titus, um, who I've never actually read in a single comic book before. But once I finish the bath, maybe I'll look him up in a comic book and find out what he's all about. Uh, but that's it. <clears throat> Alpha 5, some freaking three and three quarter inch Marvel Legends, trigger happy. 
uh, some jalapeno poppers, uh, chimichanga, which I already ate. It's in, in my belly. A couple comic books. And I did get a couple packages, by the way. I got this one from uh, Bibby. Do not bend. I got this from Bibby the Pop Hunter. So i um, looking forward to seeing what that is. I'm not sure what that is. And then I got another package <clears throat> from Juno Koo from Blame Juju. So I think that actually might be uh, a Guardians figure. So we'll find out. So I have quite a haul to share. I have a bunch of P.O. Box pickups. I have freaking one, two, I have like five P.O. Box pickups. So I might actually do a separate video for those. Uh, just because the haul that I have here, the haul that I have from Columbus, I got four Marvel Legends figures from Columbus. Um, and then the haul that I got from a couple days ago when I hit a Walmart up, this is going to be a lot to share at, uh, from the Nerd Bar. So I might just do those P.O. Box pickups in a separate video. That's it for now. I will see you guys in the Nerd Bar with this gigantic freaking haul. And uh, I'll see you soon. What's up, figure fam? I am back at the Nerd Bar, and uh, I have just a freaking ridiculously large haul to share with you guys right now. Um, I've been hunting since Tuesday, as you can see from the footage there. I'm hoping this video is not too long. I'm going to kind of speed through this haul, because I just have a lot of stuff to show you. Um, I'm going to do individual reviews for each of these guys here, um, and I have even more stuff that I want to show you. I got a bunch of P.O. Box pickups. There's one, two, three, four, five different things. Actually, four packages, and then I got a um, Marvel Collector Core box. So I'm going to do that on the next video. Um, but let me just go ahead and get through this so that I'm not taking too long. Uh, I do have two new Hot Toys figures to share with you. I got the, um, I think this came on Wednesday. It was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I think it was Wednesday. Got the Bucky. Got the Winter Soldier from Civil War. It is freaking awesome. I already unboxed it, and uh, it is awesome. I love it a lot. Um, so I got that, and then I just picked this one up from Comics to Games today. I did not even unbox this yet. It is heavy as balls, by the way. It's got a lot of weight to it. Uh, but it is Falcon. I'm really, really excited to open this guy up and see what he looks like. You know what? Let me see. There's the sneak peek. But uh, I will do a... Um, a full-on review of this guy. I'll compare him with the previous Falcon, which I also have from uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, but he looks pretty badass, I will say. Uh, so I can't wait to open that one up. So got those two Hot Toys figures. On Tuesday, I was uh, getting some Redbox movies, and I found Shocker. So he was the last one that I needed from uh, the Sandman wave. So I actually finished my Sandman, and he is badass. He is an awesome bath. I really, really like this Build-A-Figure. So much detail on the arms. Look at the arms. And he comes with, um, you can put that hand in instead, that little wrecking ball mace-like thing, or you can put this giant block in one of his uh, arm sockets there. And then he also comes with this alternate head with that. That's cool. With the uh, big hole in his face. But uh, I really, really like this Build-A-Figure a lot. Uh, fast forward to, when was it? <clears throat> Thursday? I think it was Thursday. I was in Columbus on Thursday and Friday, and, uh, I hit a Walmart, uh, late Thursday night, um, and I found, I don't know if I took footage. I haven't reviewed my footage for the last few days, but I don't know if I took footage of this. I went to a Walmart, and I found these Marvel Legends figures on clearance for four dollars each. Four bucks. So they had a bunch of the ones from, uh, it was like Machine Man. They had some of the ones from the Doctor Strange wave. They had that Astral Doctor Strange. They had uh, an Enchantress for four bucks. But I found almost the entire wave of the Absorbing Man for four bucks each. And I didn't have a lot of these. So I think his name is Jack-O-Lantern. I got him. Now the thing with these is the boxes are freaking jacked. Look like someone sat on them, as you can see there. But the figures inside, I don't care if the boxes are messed up. I, I take all my figures out of the boxes. So the figures inside are in uh, mint condition. So I got Jack, I think his name's Jack-O-Lantern. Correct me if I'm wrong. I got Speed Demon. Again, look at that box. Looks like someone tried to eat it. Got that one. I got Ben Riley Carnage, which is one that I really wanted. Again, all the boxes are messed up. But he's 
he's got all of his stuff. It's just that uh, the boxes got jacked. And then I got Beetle, and her box is the worst. Look at that. But she looks fine inside. So I paid 16 bucks for these four figures total. Can't beat that. So I got those four Marvel Legends figures. Fast forward to today. I hit, uh, with uh, Tay Tay, I hit a Walmart. At Walmart, I got this little badass. I got Alpha 5, which I shared a picture of on the uh, Syndicate Facebook page. Join that page, by the way, if you're on Facebook. So I got Alpha 5. We went to, where did we go after that? We went to Target after that. Trigger Happy, who looks awesome. I'm loving these Titans Return. I really, really want that six shot a, a lot. I've seen that Megatron. I saw him at uh, on Tuesday, actually, at Walmart. He was uh, gone today, so someone must have bought him. They had two of them there. And then I got these guys. I do collect the three and three quarter inch Marvel Legends figures. Used to be Marvel Universe figures, but I got the current Spider-Man Spider armor. I got the current Iron Man armor. Uh, from the comic books, and it looks awesome. I don't know where that cut me off, but uh, Mrs. Cincy just called, and whenever I'm filming, that's the only downside of filming on your iPhone, is I film on this thing, I think it takes a great picture, personally, um, and it's very handy. Just pull out my phone and start filming, but Mrs. Cincy called and asked me if I could order a pizza that she's going to pick up, so um, I think I was talking about this guy and how he has that gloss on his armor and it looks awesome. Uh, I got X-23, also known as Wolverine now. She looks badass. Look at that figure. She is awesome. Got that one, and then I got the Maestro. Future Hulk, who's a dick in the future. Uh, real, really smart and just like an a-hole, but uh, he's awesome. He's an awesome villain. I love the Maestro. So I got those... And then, went to Comics to Games today. You saw that I got the Falcon. I also picked up... Yondu. Michael Rooker. Looking awesome. Looking awesome. I think Rooker's going to be at C2E2. He's going to be at... Or Indiana Comic Con. He's going to be at one of the shows that's kind of nearby here. And I really want to get his autograph and a picture with him. Because he seems like a really cool guy. Um, I love this character on Walking Dead. He was such an a-hole on Walking Dead. And uh, he's awesome as Yondu. He's a, he's a good actor. I like him. Uh, Drax. Batista. Dave Batista. This one really, really surprised me. I was not going to buy him at first. I had seen pictures of him and stuff online. Just seeing him in person, this figure, it looks awesome. It, it blows the first one out of the water, in my personal opinion. I think it looks great. He's got that yelling expression going. Uh, but I just think the figure looks awesome. Comes with that big ass bazooka, and um, I couldn't pass it up. I had to get Drax. So I got Drax. I got Kid Nova, Sam Alexander. He's gonna look good next to my Miss Marvel and Miles Morales, his uh, champions teammates. I hope we get a Amadeus Cho Hulk. That would be cool. Uh, and I really hope we get a um, time displaced Cyclops. I think that'd be really awesome. Because Cyclops seems to be a popular figure. Um, obviously, he's the one that everyone's looking for in the X-Men Legends wave. So, I think that character... I think they should do all of the time-displaced X-Men. They've been in storylines for, what, a couple of years now. So, make the figures, Marvel Legends! Or Hasbro! Whoever the hell you are! And then I got uh, Darkhawk, who I wasn't going to buy. But, he looks really cool. I don't really even like his comic book character. It just looks like a really cool figure. And this kind of sold me too. The Titus face sculpt, the head sculpt. That's a badass looking figure right there. So I had to get it. So there you go. These are my purchases. Let me see if I can make a little wall here for the uh, thumbnail. Nope, that's not gonna work. So uh, yeah, I bought a freaking crap ton of figures in the past Tuesday, four days. Uh, but again, I will be doing individual reviews of all these Hot Toys figures that you've seen. Uh, I've got one, two, three, four, five different reviews coming. I might have to combine them uh, as, as opposed to doing them in individual videos because that would be a lot of videos. Hell of a haul here. Very, very happy. Happy I scored these $4 Legends. But that's it. That's it for right now. Uh, but thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing my videos. I absolutely appreciate it. I'm nearing 3,000 subs, which again, 
I never even, when I started this, go back to episode one of my channel, just watch episode one, and you'll see in that guy's face that you're watching there that he had no idea that this channel would be as big as it is right now. Um, 3,000 subs is a lot to me. I mean, obviously, I'm no, like, Shardimus Prime or Optobotomist or frickin' uh, Sean Long or whoever the hell else has, like, 100,000-plus subs. But uh, there's 3,000 of you that share my same interests, and I absolutely appreciate you guys for watching my videos. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching my videos. And as always, have fun collecting. Thanks again, guys, and have a good night.